Hello YouTube, right now I'm going to be showing you is how to do this kind of like little intro that I had on one of my channels. Now, my other channel, I kind of like do hex mods and stuff like that, so uh, I kind of didn't want to throw this in there. Selfish. But, um, so I put it in my random channel. So I'm going to show you how to do that with After Effects CS6, that's the software money. So what you're going to do, of course, is open up After Effects, new project, it's already there, if you have it set up like that. A new comp, you name your comp to Logo And you can do whatever size you want. I'm going to stick with this one, the NTSC D1 widescreen square pixels, because it kind of saves time when it's uploading in. At least for me. I'm going to keep it down at 5 seconds, and I'm going to make it black. So there you have it. First step. And then you're gonna go to the layers, create text layer. Now, um, if you have a logo that you want to kind of like um, a logo that you kind of want to to plug in there, um, just do the logo instead of the text. So um, let me just go ahead and fix my thing. Non official logo kind of thing here. And okay, there you have it. My text. Now, what we're going to want to do is have this kind of like fade in and out, like sideways. Now, you can either do it upwards or downwards, uh, it doesn't matter, but um, there's several different ways to do this. A lot of people do a uh, layer black and then just size it down to cover this and then just move it. I say why even do that? Just use the ellipse tool and then do it like this and then we're going to get your move kind of like make sure it has like your entire thing in there. If you're using a logo like a little mouse or something like that just use a pen tool and work around it and it could work if you want. Now right off the bat we're going to take this and move it out of frame, right? And we're gonna go here to like your little layers where your logo is, or the image, or whatever. You're gonna have this which says mask or mask one, whatever. So just click on it and go to mask path, and you're gonna click keyframe because it's not there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move this into view. Actually, not even. I'm gonna keep it there. Then we're just gonna go ahead and move it to like if you wanted to fade in within two seconds, maybe two seconds, one second, two seconds to fade out, maybe no, one and a half. And then we're just gonna put it there, get your thing, and it's gonna keep it for you. Then you're gonna move this to like three seconds, maybe because you want to be able to hover there for a bit. And then just take it off frame, and it's kind of keyframe, keyframe it for you. So there you go. This is like the kind of like a little fade in and out. Of course, you want to look at the circle there. And then, okay. So that's how you do the basic fade in and out of your logo text and stuff like that. I'll try doing the logo thingy, like a little image, and have it fade in and out, just so you can see how to use the pen tool and how to do it, like it, what it is you're gonna want to do. Okay. <clears throat> So now we're going to add like some cool effects to it. What you're going to do is you're going to go to layer new solid. Some people use adjustment layers, but I'll just stick with solid and make comp size black. Okay. Now we're going to add a little flare to kind of follow it as it fades out or fades in. Fades in. I'd say fade in. We're going to go to effects. And you're gonna go to Video Copilot Optical Flare. Now, this is being sold at VideoPilot.com, but um, it's kind of like a little bit too expensive. You can buy it and stuff like that. I know I bought bought it because oh my god, like they made it seem like so awesome. It is kind of awesome, but I'm not much of an After Effects person, so I'm barely starting to work with it. So it was kind of like oh my god, tugging on my wallet kind of thing. Anyways, um, but if you do a little research uh, online, um, you can get it for free. Um, I regret it. I was like, I should have just gotten it for free, but then I was like, no, that's just not how I am. Anyways, um, 
you go to optical flare and as you can see you have a little flare here it's so cute you can change uh colors on it and stuff like that whatever you want if you go to options and your little optical flare options menu here comes out and kind of tells you what it has you can either add subtract move and all that kind of good crap so like right there I kind of like made it brighter just by clicking OK. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to have it like the line right there where my text is at, right? So we're gonna go here. Now as you can see right now, even if we move it, our text is not there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to mode. If you don't have mode, just go ahead and right click, go to columns and click mode. So you could start showing. You're gonna click add. <clears throat> Set it up to add. So now, as you can see, our text is right there, but my kind of my text is kind of off. So I'm just gonna click my text, and I'm gonna start not this. I'm gonna start moving this. That's not my text layer. That's my text layer, and I'm gonna start moving this down so it can be center. There, kind of like with my flare. You can either move your flare around or you can move your text around. But I hadn't done my text in me, so I'll just do that. So now let's go to like the 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 thingy, whatever. Now we're gonna keyframe this there. So you can do it over here, but you get much more options over here. Trust me. Now you're gonna click your position so that it's right there. You can actually what is my flare? Can I move it? Damn it, I moved it. Anyways, uh, just click your position right there. My flare is like right here. Now I kind of wanted to go to kind of start once it's here. So once it starts there, I'm going to move it and have it keyframe there. And then once it starts going all the way in right there, I'm going to have it shoot all the way over here. Maybe a little bit further to this corner. Right there. Now, if we play this back, and then there you have it, right? Now, um, you can also put a separate thing. You kind of move this off and then have another flare and kind of like goes in when it's erasing it, right? But what I did was I added a particle, particular, and, um, Let's just work with that. Stop this. Money. So anyways, it's right there, right? So we're going to go and open up another solid. You can do an adjustment layer, but I like working with solid layers. I think it's a lot more easier. Make comp size, you move it. You can either bring it down here, and then just do it as add. So you can start seeing the particles. Oh, or you can't. I'm sorry, up here. Is it up there? No, it's not up there. What are you particles? Oh, sorry, I forgot to add the particles. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down here, uh, keep it at add, and then go to effects, and then you go to trap code. Now, this is another expensive kind of crap, mostly because they start selling you. I'm not even gonna get this. They sell you each and every individual kind of one by itself. So you get particular. <clears throat> now if we move our thing in particular you'll see our particles explode in out of nowhere. Okay? So this is where you start making your choices, whether you want to start it, where do you want to start it when it starts fading out. That's when I started it. So this is comes in and fade out right there. So I'm gonna move this off keyframe, right? I'm going to get here, I'm going to go to my position, no, this is transform. I'm going to go to my effects, particle, emit, I'm going to go to my position, my XY position, 
Now this is where you'll start and you'll keyframe it off frame. Now you want it to come in kind of as it starts fading out, right? So we'll just move it there. Now we're going to keyframe it this here so it kind of starts going when it's going to, as you can see right there, right? And then, move it here, and then we're kind of going to go to where it kind of ends right there. And then we're going to keyframe it to go all the way here. Now you can pick to take it off off like off the but I'm gonna add a little bounce to it so I'm gonna keep it in frame so it could start bouncing off of here off the light. So now if you go and you play it it looks like it's kinda like taking it off and well anyways. Now you can work with your particles. If you don't want like a, just a solid wire particle, you can go ahead and go to emitter. In emitter, you can pick how many particles per second. You can add tons, like there, like kind of make it like a little shooting star. Right there, like look, boom. All of those, right? And have it like kind of like explode where the light is. Now, I kind of like that. But you can bring it down if you want, like, as you can see right there, it all depends. You can put it massive or down. I don't know, I kind of like that one. Okay, now, <clears throat> we already did the position thingy for the particles. Oh, look at me, I have English. Now we're going to click uh, emitter, I'm sorry. Now we're going to particles itself and you can make some adjustments. You can make it flare, sphere or glow sphere which is pretty cool. You can see it's kind of glowing like oh my god. Anyways, sorry I'm a girl so kind of like shiny stuff. Anyways, um, or you can do kind of the cloudettes which make it look like petals. I don't know why. I make it look like petals. I, I, make it look like, I think it looks like petals. You can see there, oh, look at the little petals, but they're actually little cloudet cloudlets. Now, I'm going to keep it to glow. <clears throat> we can switch out the color. Maybe like a little, I kind of wanted to, I don't know what, kind of, what I want. Maybe like a little, cutie bird, cutie bird. so kind of like, or I can go pinkoids on the butts and drown them with pink little particles. <clears throat> Anyways, that's basically how you do this thing. Now you can work with velocity and the physics and access system and the world and rendering and stuff like that, but that's basically how you do it. And then here comes a little burst of pink. And that's it on how to do it. You can make it your own, you can make it add whatever it is you want. So. That's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day. I think I'm going to do more After Effects. Whatever I learn, I'll teach. That's it.